How's it going everybody? I'm Lewis and we've got a new poll from the old school RuneScape team. So let's go ahead, vote in this poll. So this poll is part of the quality of life month we're having. This is the top 10 PVM suggestions. Let's start off with question 1. Should it be possible to convert the signature drops of Zora and items they're crafted into into 20,000 scales each? Now a while back they polled something similar. Uh, they wanted to crush the weapons in order to get a lot more scales and the amount of scales you get would vary depending on which item you crushed. I could be completely wrong here but I think I voted yes to that and I have a recollection of that getting about 60 to 70 percent. So it was quite popular but not popular enough. Unfortunately this is one of these questions that I don't have a massive opinion on. However I'm going to go ahead and vote yes just in the hope that Azura scales can go down slightly. At the moment they're quite high. Well they're dropping down today but that's clearly because of this poll. They have been quite high as of the past few months. Question 2. Should the dragon square shield provide the anti-fire resistance that you get with things like a dragon fire shield? I'm going to go ahead and vote no because it's not a dragon fire shield or an anti-dragon fire shield. It's a dragon square shield. Why should it have that ability? Question 3. Should Hawk Loose Scrolls be added to the drop table of Black Demons? I'm going to go ahead and vote yes. I imagine that they're the sort of creatures that would drop hard Clue Scrolls and when you're killing them, it would just be nice to get that Clue Scroll. In fact, I was under the impression that they already dropped them. Next, question 4. Should the Giant Mole stop digging and fleeing when it's very low health? I can imagine that gets very annoying. However, I don't like the idea of just sort of making the Giant Mole stay there just so you can kill it. So I'm going to go ahead and vote no. In a way, it's just completely removing any intelligence that that boss might have. Question 5. Should Wyson, the Gardener, offer better seeds in exchange for mole skins and claws dropped by the giant mole? I'm going to go ahead and vote yes for that one. I know they're not the best seeds, but I think they could definitely be improved. Question 6. Should an instance King Black Dragon area be added to Old School? It would cost 50,000 GP to open an instance, which would last until you leave. Only the player that's opened the instance will be able to access it and you'd still need to go through the wilderness in order to open the instance. I'm going to go ahead and vote no on that. I'm not actually that much of a fan of instances, and I think the popularity of instance polls in the past hasn't really merited them wanting to poll this. Next, question 7. Should the chance of shadow spells stunning the Abyssal Sire be increased from 66% to 100%? I'm going to go ahead and vote no. I understand it might be a little bit awkward to kill the Abyssal Sire if you've only got a 66% chance of stunning it. However, I like the idea that it's not always going to be stunned every time you use a spell on it. Maybe it could be increased a little bit to maybe even 80%. I think that would be reasonable. But 100% is just too much. Question 8. Should a hammer drop be added to the drop table of goblins? This will make it easier to get into the Bandos God Wars room if you've forgotten a hammer. I'm going to go ahead and vote yes. I imagine it's a huge pain if you end up forgetting that hammer. And seeing as you have to kill a bunch of Bandos creatures to get your kill count up anyway, then it makes sense. Next, question 9. Should the hit points of both forms of Vishen be reduced by 20% and the defense of his Hellhounds be reduced significantly? This will definitely make Vishen a much easier boss to kill, which in one way is actually quite a great idea. Many people complain he's just too hard and not worth the time to go and kill. I like the idea of having a hard boss, but when people are saying it's just not worth it, and obviously we can't really buff the drops that it has, then this would make some sense. So I'm a little bit hesitant on this, but I think I'm going to go ahead and vote yes. And finally, question 10. Currently, if you attempt to get a Slayer task when you already have one, your Slayer Master will tell you to come back when you finish your current assignment. Should they change the message to let you know what your current assignment is and how many kills you've got left? I'm going to go ahead and vote yes. That'll be a nice quality of life update. I'm going to go ahead and submit my vote and then we can have a look at the results of this poll. So, so far we've had 21,022 votes. 80.5% want the ability to crush Zora items into Zora scales. 68.7% want the Dragon Square Shield providing a dragon fire resistance. 94.7% want Hard Clue Scrolls to be added to the drop table of Black Demons. 78.3% want the Giant Mole to stop digging when it's on very low health. 88.6% want Weissen the Gardener to offer better seeds in exchange for mole skins and claws when dropped by a Giant Mole. 76.9% want an instance King Black Dragon area where you can access it for 50,000 coins. 68.9% want the chance of shadow spells stunning the abyssal size to be increased from 66% to 100%. 91.2% want a hammer to be added to the drop table of goblins. This will make it easier to get into the Bandos God Wars room if you've forgotten a hammer. 74.2% want the hit points of both forms of Vishen to be reduced by 20% and the defense of his hellhounds to be reduced significantly. 
And finally, 95.1% want a Slayer Master to tell you what your current assignment is and how many kills you've got left if you try and get another task from them. This is a very interesting poll for me, because I'm not really a PVMer, I don't really do a lot of this stuff. However, the fact that the Vishen question is 0.8% off passing, I find incredible. It's possible that it might pass, however, it's all too possible that it might just stay just below the 75% needed. All these other questions seem fairly reasonable. However, some of them, like the Dragon Square Shield, providing the Dragon Fire Resistance, are scarily close to passing when it's such a ridiculous idea. If you've not voted in this poll yet, please make sure you go ahead and vote. This is a community game and it's very important that we get the updates that we want by voting for them. Unfortunately, these quality of life polls are closing very quickly on the Monday after they're released. So you have very little time to actually vote, but if you can, I recommend doing it. If you want to watch the latest Old School RuneScape update, please click here for the Tournament Worlds and Tiff. And if you're interested in what's happening this month in Old School RuneScape, please click here for February, the month ahead. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share, and if you want to keep up to date with the Old School RuneScape updates, death blocks and polls, please subscribe. I've been Lewis, thanks for watching, goodbye.